Hello everyone, welcome to the Wimbo product demos. Now today I am going to show you how to take an image based backup of a Windows server using Wimbo image backup. This Wimbo image backup provides easy, secure and reliable system image backup of the physical Windows servers and workstation. Alright, now let's begin. Now to start using the Wimbo BDR suite, you need to have a Wimbo BDR server installed on your computer. So to download the Wimbo BDR suite, log in to www.wimbo.com and click on the downloads tab you see here. And now you will be taken to a page where you can find the installer. So now click on this download installer. This will download a setup file which you can see here. Meanwhile, you can fill in your details so that Wimbo can contact you for any technical assistance during the evaluation period. After the completion of this download, go to your downloads location and install the Wimbo BDR server setup with the administrator rights. Alright, so now after the completion of the installation procedure, you will find a shortcut created on the desktop. Now you can click on this to open the web-based console of the Wimbo BDR suite. Now you have to configure the BDR server initially at once before giving any backup and this is a one-time process. So now uh, let's select the time zone and click save. Now here in this page you have to enter a unique ID for your backup server. Now we recommend you to give your machine name followed by your domain name as your unique BDR ID. Now go to this backup tab and choose Microsoft Windows. Now before giving backup, we need to add the Windows server which we want to backup. Now click on Add Microsoft Windows Host and provide the credentials of the host like the host IP address, username and password and click Save. Now this is going to install a Waymo integration service on the target machine and the target machine should be restarted once to install the necessary drivers supporting the backup. Now once the target machine has successfully restarted, you can see all the added servers under the list Microsoft Windows host section of the backup tab. Now in order to configure the backup, select this backup corresponding to the respected host. Now this is the console where you can see all the disks in the particular selected host. Now select the disk you want to backup and after that click next. Now this is the application aware settings page. This option will let you create a consistent backup when the target host running in any Microsoft application. The first option here is require successful application processing. By selecting this, the backup process will start only if all the writers are successfully processed. The next option here is the ignore application processing failure. And selecting this option will ignore checking the processing of applications and start running the backup. And this is an option to truncate the transaction logs. Now by choosing this and clicking on this checkbox, you can truncate all the transaction logs of the Microsoft applications in order to reduce the storage space. Now click next. Now in this screen, you need to choose the backup schedule. You can configure either hourly or daily or weekly schedule based on your requirements. Now once this is done, you can also configure for an additional full backup which is optional. And this additional full backup will let you take another full backup at regular interval. You can choose the additional full backup schedule as well like it's like daily, weekly or monthly as per your needs. Now once this is done, click next. Now this is the screen where you have to configure the retention policies for your backup job. Now you have to click enable if you need. And as per Wimbo image backup is concerned, we have two different kinds of retention policies. The first is the basic retention and the next is the advanced retention. Now this basic retention is going to keep the daily merge recovery points as per the number of days you will configure for the retention. Now you can have up to 99 daily merge recovery points using this basic retention. Now this advanced retention has three different kinds of merge options within it and you can choose any combination of these three as per your requirements. Now choosing this daily merge will merge all the hourly incrementals and create a single daily merge recovery point. 
and selecting on this weekly merge will merge all the daily merge incrementals to form a single weekly merge recovery point. And similarly, selecting on this monthly merge, you can merge all the weekly merged or the daily merge recovery points together to form a single monthly merged recovery point. Now, after choosing an appropriate retention policies, you also have an option to choose the storage repositories. Now, with Wainbow BDR Suite, users can encrypt their image-based backup. So you can choose a particular password for that specific backup through the Add Password option or encrypt using the system-generated password. Now click Next. Finally, review all the configurations for your backup job and enter a name. Now once this is done, click on Save the Backup so that your backup starts running. Once your backup is complete, you can see all your backup jobs by clicking on the list all jobs in the backup tab. This is all about the backup configuration. Now next comes the recovery. Now to restore your backed up data, click on this recovery tab in the Bamboo BDR server. Now here you can see all the backups configured by this backup server. Now this is the physical machine which has been backed up. This restore window contains all the details of the backed up data like the plugin type, job name, client name, size, etc. Now to restore the backed up data, click on restore. Now this is the recovery window. Here you can choose from 5 different types of restore options for image based backup and each of these serves different purposes in different situations. First, we are going to see the quick VM recovery. It is one of the Wainbow's unique recovery options. Using this option, you can instantly launch your backed up data of the physical machine as a live virtual machine into an other target machine and start working on it. And to perform this quick VM recovery, select the quick VM recovery option and click next. Now here in this window, you have to choose the restore version. Click on the timestamps you want to restore and select the disk you want. Now click next. Now this is a software selection window. Now you can do instant recovery of your virtual machine over the VMware or Hyper-V host. Now select the hypervisor you want from the Dropbox where you want to launch your backed up virtual machine. Now here I am going to select VMware as my hypervisor and enter all the details like the target hypervisor, target data store and name of the virtual machine which you are going to restore. If you want to add the new server, you can also add a new VMware target by clicking on add VMware server. Now selecting this uh, power on VM will automatically turn on your virtual machine once it is launched on the VMware server. Now click next. Now in this page, review all the configurations and click on restore now to launch your physical machine on the target hypervisor. This will restore all your backed up data and now you can review the status of your restore by clicking on the restore status option. Now once this recovery is complete, open the vSphere console. Here you can see a new virtual machine created. You can start to continue your work on the launched virtual machine. Now all the changes you make here will be tracked and stored separately as persistent data. Now once the quick VM session gets over, go to the recovery window from BDR server and unmount the backup data. It is important because only when you unmount your data, the continuation of your incremental backups will resume. Now this is about the quick VM recovery. The next restore option is the disk or the partition level recovery. This lets you restore your backed up data or the machines at the disk or the partition level in the servers. Now choose this disk or partition recovery and click next. Now choose the restore or the timestamps version and the restore data. Now click next. Based on your requirements, you can either choose the partition level or the disk level. If your backup data is selected at disk level, then restoring option will let you choose from the list of disks available in the server machine. Now if the backup data is selected at partition level, then the restoring option will let you choose from the list of partitions available in the server machine. Now review all the configurations and click on restore now. After the recovery, the disks or the partitions will be attached to the local machine which can be accessed by the user. 
Now the next recovery option available with Vembu Image Backup is the file level recovery. And using this, you can granularly recover the necessary files and the folders of the backed up machine without restoring the entire machine. Now to perform this, click on file level recovery and click next. Now here in this page, select the restore version and the disk you wish to recover the files from. Select the required files, click on next. Now choose the restore location and again click next. Finally, review all the configurations and now click on restore now. Now after the recovery, the selected files will be restored to the specified location. Now the fourth type of recovery process available is the disk management mount. Now choose this and click next. Then select the restore version and the disk you wish to recover. Now click next. Finally review all the configurations and now click on restore now. Now this is going to attach the backed up disk to the disk management of your backup server so that the user can access all the files of the backed up disk from the local machine. Once the restoration is complete, go to your disk management. Here you can see the new disk attached to your computer. And these are only virtually attached and it is not in permanent attachment. Also, you can easily unmount the disk by clicking on the unmount option in the web console of the BDR server. Now the final option for recovery with Vembu Image Backup is download. Now this is going to allow you to download the backed up data into various file formats. And to perform this, choose downloads and click next. Now in this window, select the recovery points and the disk you want to restore. Now click next. Now here you have to select the download location and select the virtual disk format to which you want the download file to be in. So the downloads are available in VHD, VHDX, VMDK, flat VMDK and draw file formats. Now after this select next, review all the configurations again and now click on restore now. Now this is going to download the backed up file to the selected location. After the completion of download, go to your selected restore location where you can see the downloaded files. Apart from the backup and recovery, let me also give you very brief insight about the portal registration. Now in order to register your Vembu BDR server with Vembu portal, go to the portal.vembu.com and click on sign up. Now fill in the required details to create your account. Once your account is successfully created, log in to the Vembu BDR web console. Now go to the management and the server management and then choose the server registration. Now in this page, click on register, enter the Vembu portal account credentials which you created and now register. Now your BDR server is registered to your portal account. In order to check now you have to click on run license check to verify the server registration. So once this process is complete, you need to log into your portal account and you can manage all your registered Vembo products. I really hope this video is helpful. To know more about Vembo and Vembo products, log in to www.vembo.com and Vembo's customer support is available 24 bar 7 so you can contact us anytime with the help of the phone numbers and the email IDs displayed on the screen. Thanks for watching.